Hello everyone. Do you like to think about what our future will be like? Maybe you expect to see flying cars, teleportation, and other useful things that for now we only find in science fiction movies. Or will all the work be done by robots and people will simply enjoy life? So far we can only guess what will exactly happen in a few decades or even hundreds of years. But what we do know is exactly what the food of the future will be like. Let's take a look at it. Let's get it on. Edible Bottles The pollution of the planet with plastic is a terrible problem, and every year it gets even worse. Of course, scientists find different ways to deal with excess plastic, and none of them definitely look very futuristic. A London startup has developed edible water containers, though. It's a liquid bubble made of gelatin that has no taste, but if you want, you can add a flavoring or change the color. However, you don't need to eat the container every time. It can be thrown away, and the material will decompose in a couple of weeks without harming the environment, like a banana peel. And inside, you can pour not only water, but also any water-based liquid. The company plans to promote its product in cafes and at different events. In general, in places where a large number of people use a lot of plastic packaging in a short time. Creating a bubble with water only takes a few seconds, but these unusual containers don't have lids, so you won't be able to reuse them. Make a hole and you can immediately enjoy your drink, which is why the bubbles have a small volume. 3D printed food. Today you can literally print anything on a 3D printer. And here's another great idea that seems to have definitely taken a place among the technologies of the future, the edible growth concept, a printed edible mini garden. It originated in 2014, but only now has it gained real popularity. Edible growth is a printed case with several holes. Inside, the box is full of nutrient-rich soil, bacteria, seeds, and spores, which turn into plants and mushrooms in a few days. It is a small but healthy meal. <laughs> The mini garden, in addition to its nutritional function, is also very aesthetically pleasing. It looks like a small designer flower pot, very fashionable and very expensive. By the way, edible growth not only shows a creative approach to 3D food printing, but also raises the issue of agricultural lands of huge areas. After all, these mini gardens can be freely organized at home. Edible Mist it would be great to get nutrients directly from the air, and it looks like in the future this incredible desire will apparently come true. After all, in 2011, Harvard professor David Edwards introduced LAWAF, a device that serves edible mist instead of real food. The special liquid substance with a concentrated flavor of tomato soup or chocolate cake is placed in a carafe, where, under the influence of ultrasound, it's divided into small drops. To inhale the product and taste it in the mouth, Edwards provided a special glass tube. It's worth noting that the famous French chef Thierry Marx helped the scientists create compositions with different flavors, so the result is likely to be quite appetizing. In any case, people who have tried the edible mist say that its taste is no different from the usual taste of normal dishes. Well, the main advantage of the Le Waff device is that the person, while tasting the most varied foods, doesn't consume any calories. Of course, it's impossible to replace ordinary food with it for now, so the tasty mist can serve as a kind of gum. Unusual coffee. Of course, the world of the future needs a modernized coffee. This energy drink is consumed by many people in many different forms, with milk, with cream, with sugar, with caramel, with lots of water. But enterprising inventors are already creating new ways of consuming caffeine. For example, the chewable coffee Go Cubes by American startup Nutribox. The creators claim that this tool is not only stimulating, but also increases brain activity, performance, and intelligence. All because the company Nutribox specializes in the production of nootropics as stimulants for the human brain. Each dose of caffeine is precisely calculated, and the cubes can easily fit in your pocket. Convenient? Of course. But let's say you like to drink coffee, but you hate this terrible plaque on your teeth. New technologies have a solution. Transparent coffee. The colorless drink Color Kuf is made of Arabica coffee and water, and according to its creators, this coffee was created using secret methods that have never been used before. Despite this, the drink contains no chemicals, preservatives, 
artificial flavors or sweeteners. Each bottle of transparent Kula Cuff contains approximately 100 milligrams of caffeine, slightly more than in a normal cup of coffee. Test Tube Meat Experts from the Netherlands have been working on the creation of test tube meat for many years. The technology of its production lies in that scientists use a common animal cell and teach it to multiply in an artificially created environment. Thus, a single group of cells can produce enough meat for 80,100 gram burgers. It sounds very tempting, considering the approaching food crisis. Natural resources don't meet the needs of humanity, whose number is growing every year. The only drawback of test tube meat is its taste. A burger made of artificial meat wasn't as juicy as a real one, but scientists seem to have discovered the reason. The Mosa Meat Company said it would be ready to ship the first batch of meat to market in 2021. This food promises to be very cheap. One patty won't cost more than a dollar. Add to that an organic production process that reduces methane emissions, and it looks like the future will come sooner than expected. Purple Bread White bread is not the healthiest product. It's digested too quickly, increases blood sugar levels, and is associated with obesity and diabetes. But scientists have found a solution to this problem. A nutritionist at the National University of Singapore, Professor Zhu Weibiao, invented purple bread. It's a product made entirely of natural compounds and rich in antioxidants. Purple bread is prepared using anthocyanin, extracted from black rice. Anthocyanin is a natural pigment found in fruits and vegetables such as grapes, blueberries, and sweet potatoes. Studies have shown that anthocyanin is a natural antioxidant, which has a beneficial effect on all systems of the body, helps prevent cardiovascular and neurological diseases, and plays an important role in the fight against diabetes and obesity, and even slows the aging process. In general, it's not bread, but a true treasure for health. Besides, purple bread looks great, doesn't it? Although it's not yet available on the market, Professor Zhu Weibiao promised to start the production of purple bread in the near future. Insect food in itself, the use of insects as food is not a new idea, but it is one thing to eat cockroaches to feel exotic, and it's quite another to consume them permanently. <gasps> there we go. Cheers! Cheers. Uh, down the hatch, here we All go. The teeth. We agree it sounds disgusting and a little terrifying, but in terms of nutrients, insects are no worse than meat. For example, crickets and grasshoppers have as much protein as a piece of steak, and growing them requires less space and money. That's why insects will help us fight hunger on the planet. Insects also have fewer calories, so it's not surprising that more and more people are thinking about cooking a variety of dishes with them, from snacks to desserts. Are you ready to eat ice cream with flower worms in? Or fried moth larvae? Or insect crackers? Today you can even find restaurants that specialize in these unusual dishes. Perhaps in time, insects will become as popular as raw fish dishes and conquer the market. Spirulina Spirulina itself is a blue-green algae that appeared on planet Earth 500 million years ago. Today, it's popular because of its positive effect on immunity, vitality, and overall health. In general, spirulina is the holy grail of health food fans. In addition, according to information obtained from several studies, spirulina is a high-protein product. It contains approximately 70% protein, even more than beef. Well, in addition to all kinds of vitamins, amino acids, antioxidants, etc., it's easier to make a list of things that spirulina doesn't have. The problem is that for now, it is quite expensive. But why buy it when you can grow it? Using special devices, of course, which you can buy today. The result is an economical, healthy, and most importantly, nutritious product that everyone can consume. Edible Opera Opera isn't everyone's cup of tea, but even if you can't hear long arias and don't understand a word of Italian, maybe opera has a chance to win your heart by eating it. British artists Machiko Nitta and Michael Burton devised a technique that allows them to transform a singer's voice into an original taste experience. You don't need pots, pans, or other kitchen appliances. The artist uses a device similar to a science fiction suit made of tubes, something like a predator mask or a very cheap version of Cthulhu's suit, but it's actually a very complicated device. The system was first used by Louise Ashcroft, famous for a powerful mezzo-soprano.
As she sings and breathes, the singer exhales carbon dioxide, which descends through the tubes to the algae colonies located inside the microscopic suit. They feed and, at the same time, consume special fast-acting fertilizers. As a result, at the end of the aria, the microorganisms grow, acquiring an unusual taste and being completely ready to be consumed. At the same time, the algae react in a special way to the repertoire. They can be sweet or they can be very spicy. But don't think that this stack of unusual tubes and plants are suitable only for singers. Anyone can use the device and stimulate growth with the help of their breathing and then eat the algae. Turns out that the algae live thanks to humans and humans thanks to the algae. This is the future, my friends. Psst, dude, are you looking for new technologies and great gadgets? Are your thoughts focused on the future? Do you love huge vehicles and can't imagine your life without robots around you? Then visit TechZone and you'll find all this and more. The link is in the description. You interested? Great.